Cancer. Okay, so let's get started here. You have the Five of Swords in the reverse, which is actually uh, gaining wisdom. I feel like from this, uh, from the past, you have uh, gained wisdom, but it feels like so, okay. So I'm having a channeled message here for you. For some of you, you had to let go of something. So either you are still not seeing what is the lesson you have learned or you are in the process of knowing what is the lesson you are learning, you are needing to learn through a specific situation from the past. And uh, it was challenged by the seven of one. So probably a situation where it didn't stand your ground, a situation that, you know, um, it feels like cancer, you know, you are doing so many things to just please people. And sometimes it's taking uh, a toll on you. So it is probably why here it feels that you are or you want to move on from a specific situation that has happened in the past. So yeah, definitely somebody or a, spe a, a situation that actually um, caused a little bit of, you know, internal uh, I will not say damage, but perhaps emotional, like a conflict within yourself. Okay, in the present position, you have the Ten of Pentacles. So you feel very prosperous at the moment, or uh, you have actually, by letting go all of this and moving forward, you have a beautiful um, treasure that is, you know, opening here for you, um, opening up here for you. So it could be, uh, could be somebody you have met, or you could be like by leaving this situation, you're finding finally peace of mind and, you know, looking to what it is you have within yourself in order, you know, to move forward. And here you have the magician. So definitely you are able to manifest anything you want in life. And you have the king of cups as well. So you could be also dealing with different people. Here you have Scorpio, you have um, this, this could be you uh, as well, any water sign or any other sign, honestly, or a fire sign. But it feels like here you are having all the tools to manifest happiness, ultimate happiness. Definitely moving forward uh, or moving on from a specific situation help you gain your emotional, gain back your emotional loss and having all the tools to manifest you know, this Ten of Pentacles. And to me, this uh, signifies stability within, stability at home, and uh, probably, you know, uh, finding again your creative side in order to, um, you know, uh, receive the benefits or receive the results of whatever you have invested in. But yeah, you have all the tools to manifest this and manifest this as well. Um, in the near future, I see a major transformation and the challenge here, you have the tower in the reverse and the wheel of fortune in the upright. The wheel of fortune is actually the wheel turning up in your favor. And it feels like here things are a little bit shaky. Um, I will need to clarify this, but there is a beautiful transformation, a beautiful gain of wisdom. And this is on your favor. So probably you will have to break something or let go of something in order for you to you know move forward and you're not being a fool here okay so you want to take a leap of faith in the future but there is something holding you back because it feels like if you do there is something that is going to crumble so you're being very very careful so i would like to see what are the challenges here in your near future what are the challenges and what's this what is this tower all about? I mean, I'll put it just here. Okay, please show me. Beautiful. Okay, so it is due to uh, um, an offer that is coming your way and could be from a soulmate or it could be that your children are involved in a situation, but probably somebody from the past as well, somebody that wants to offer you something. So if I see this line over here, you have a major transformation um, about an offer that is coming from a soulmate or an offer that is 
actually feels like an offer that could be durable in the future okay and why is this tower about here why is this tower please show me why the tower yeah the tower definitely you're afraid that if you take this leap of faith you will end up heartbroken or you you will actually break someone's heart here so it feels like there is an offer but yet you're not deciding to take this offer in uh, it feels like one of you one of your partners or you will be heartbroken so and it yeah and you don't want to break anybody's heart it feels like you're too sensitive cancer to hurt anyone so it feels like you you will not be a fool and you will not take on this offer to not break anybody's heart please show me the hopes and fears please hopes and fears for cancer hopes and fears for cancer okay the hangman so these are your hopes thinking like with time you will have the proper answer right it feels like you're dragging on a situation or you are put been you have been put on limbo so the other person can make a decision and this actually could either be you this offer you offering or them offering but yeah it feels like you're you're just putting on hold this situation so you can have a better clarity in what it is you need to do but deep down you know what it is you know what you need to do and these are your fears so yeah your fears is that you're not willing or you're not being able to love this person or to give actually your emotions to this person the way they deserve it or you know vice versa could be them you know like they're not putting in their emotions um into play so this is actually why you're putting everything on hold please show me the outcome for the reading the love reading for cancer please outcome Okay, two cards for the outcome, please. Okay, six of swords. So definitely moving forward, moving, moving on, and moving forward to calmer waters. Is that okay? And the sun. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful ending here. So you're moving forward towards the light. You're moving forward towards uh, happiness and towards something that is very warm and beautiful and uplifting you could also be dealing with a leo here and here you have fast communication and probably travel um what else yeah i i see water over here and water over here so probably the 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 message here is that you need to go towards the water so you can have a better uh, clarity maybe that you being you know near the water you're a water sign actually and this will actually help you see clear and go towards the light so yeah i feel here i feel like you could be dealing with for some of you, you could be dealing with two people as well so i i have a, a major confusion at the beginning of the month but then you know things start to clear up by the end of the month and definitely a beautiful outcome card here i feel like i want to pull another card i'm drawn to do that so yeah the star so yeah you could be moving towards um uh, an aquarius or you could be moving towards uh healing or something you have hoped for so definitely this sun is what you have hoped for all your life and here at the bottom of the deck you have the ace of pentacles um so definitely a um, very beautiful outcome for you cancers i'm excited <laughs> and we are going to be pulling other cards from different decks yeah but this is very interesting actually for um for you and for me too so definitely month of January was a month of confusion for me. So I don't know about you. I would love to hear from you in the comments if you would like to share your story as well. And um, yeah, I mean, whoever 
comments, uh, whoever, like uh, the signs that comments the most will have an extra reading in, during the month. So let's go Team Cancer and let's uh, have another reading, a bonus reading for you in the middle of the month. So please do comment on, you know, the video. Um, yeah, so this is a love uh, reading, a love spread using the uh, romance um, romance cards from Doreen Virtue. So bring in the energy of, you know, the partner you have or the person you're thinking about. So let's see here. Okay, please show me. What are the energies of Cancer for the month of February when it comes to their love life, please? Okay. Cancer, finances and career. What about their partner? Wedding. Okay. Show me the potential between them two. Express your love. The advice, please, from you, angels. For Cancer. Heart to heart conversation and the outcome. Children. Wow, so many of you have same cards as Libra. So you could be dealing with the Libra as well. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you have make an effort. So great love is worth um, taking the steps you're guided to take. So probably some of you are having children together, are married, or uh, some of you are, you know, dealing with somebody that would love to, you know, have a commitment with you and actually think about building a family and children here you're too focused on your finances and careers or uh, focus into something else in your life and not paying attention to this person that is you know really here offering you their love that wants to commit to you that would actually see themselves building something strong with you and they're willing actually to um to to get involved and and like just go down in one knee and marry you and here the potential is um, you have to express your love for one another so go and go ahead and make the romantic gesture of course if you feel it if you truly truly feel it otherwise do not take any uh, decision upon you know what it is good on paper or you have to really feel it within and see if you are drawn towards this person in order for you to to express your love to them because if it doesn't go from, you know, a place of love or a place of integrity, and if it's just planning about something or wanting to manifest a great life, but, you know, and that you don't feel it deep within, then these things are going to come back at you and, you know, like, a, let's say a karm karmic situation. And we don't want that. We want to be very um, truthful, clear and honest. Okay. Um, the advice here is to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So discuss your feelings with each other. If there's anything that you have to rise up uh, in terms of, you know, um, discussion or things that you need to to overcome or to discuss about, then please do so. Because um, I see, let me see if I can pull another card of, okay, I have three, but it's too much. Um, the outcome I have children here so definitely for some of you there are children on the way that not that are preventing you from moving forward with this person or both of you are having children or some of you you know um, some of you you or your partner want to have children and the other one not so yeah there is a different scenarios here as you know we're reading for different for many people but children are definitely affected, um, not affected, but the, the you know, the, 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 I mean, your love life is affected by children. So could be either you focusing on your children more than this person or 
you wanting to have children and the partner not. I know I'm repeating myself, but you know, I do forget what I say sometimes, so please forgive me for that. Um, but yes, um, children are your top priority here or their top priority. So it could be something that needs to be dealt with. Okay, I will put pull it out come here. Okay, I have separation as an outcome. So, and it could be because they're not seeing things the way you see them or not seeing life the way you, you see life in general, or, you know, just apply this for your situation. But look, if you express your love and you have this heart to heart conversation and you're willing to work on this, this can be very uh, positive. If not, if you're too stubborn or they're too stubborn about a children's situation or uh, a children matter, then this could lead to a separation. So, um, you know, it, it, please take this uh, reading as it applies to you. And uh, okay, Cancers, so I am going to pull three cards from the Psychic Tarot deck. Oops. <laughs> And I'm going to ask my angels to give me, you know, cards that can reflect the best messages that needs to be delivered to you. Please show me. Give me three cards for Cancer, for February. Oops, love reading. Oh, wow. Few jumping cards. Let me see. Okay. Three cards for Cancer, please. I have one. Two more. Two. And three. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, you have intuition. So they are asking you to trust your intuition. It feels like there have been a waiting time or a decision that you needed to make and it's in the reverse here, although I do not read reversals in uh, this deck, but it feels like the way it's shown to me is that you have found your way here towards, you know, what needs to be um, like where you are uh, needed to go. Um, it feels like you have you had a choice between two things or two directions or but now you know exactly what you are going to do and you are going towards it which is beautiful you are led by your intuition and it's very important that you trust your gut here and definitely you need to balance your base chakra for that okay in order for you to rest and rejuvenate this is in your uh, coming position i feel like you need to meditate here you need to rebalance your chakras and you need to meditate in order to have the answers that you want also through your intuition and meditation you are going to be led to the path that you you need to go to and i want you to understand that uh, if you're put through some experiences is it is like the universe testing you and see what it is you want in order for it to deliver exactly what you need um, to have so definitely these are beautiful learnings and experiences and there are stepping stones to what it is coming for uh, for for you cancers okay so these are uh, healing angel cards and we are going to ask the angels what it is you need to heal or how you need to balance uh, to you know to balance and how to get into a perfect alignment so please angels show us give us a card for cancers for the month of february okay harmony so definitely you're coming into harmony within yourself okay and you have children and romance so a harmony between your children and romance as we saw here you have children that are um, for some of you affecting your love life or some of you affecting a decision that you need to make 
and here it says you know harmony between your romance and children so you are definitely to find uh, you are willing and you are going to find you know um like a, like a, a way to to make your harmony between children and your love life you are going to find a way how to balance between them too and you know this is actually this is exactly what you need to heal and the angels are asking you to work towards that so rest and rejuvenate from uh you know the psychic tarot deck is actually asking you to meditate and to go within yourself to find ways how to do that as well beautiful messages here okay so now it is the time to ask your question cancers and um, if you're meant to know the answer then these cards will answer you specifically these are the uh, answers um, angel cards from Dorian Virtue so go ahead and ask your question and as soon as I am going to have a jumping card this if it's meant to be you know it will answer your question and beautiful here you have the answer that you are all seeking i don't know if you can see it and it says success so whatever you ask for is going to be very positive and successful and here you have at the bottom of the deck within the next few weeks 